Hello everybody. Okay, I hope that this is going to be enough lighting for you guys. Actually, you know what? It's getting dark. It's already 8 o'clock at night here. But, I don't know. That's going to make a difference for now. Probably, yeah. So, I'm playing around here. I'm, you know, kind of looking at my products and everything. I was organizing a bit. And I came along my modeling paste and I noticed that it was drying and this modeling paste for this little thing I buy it here in a local store it's eight euro so I noticed there I still have some in here but um, I got to use it up because I notice it's drying up and yeah I don't want it to go to waste so I did something which I'm going to show you now but first I wanted to show you what I did here um, I showed this book in another video. It's it's a, an animal, an old animal book, and I was mentioning that I saw a video of a lady using a sewing book in it. And whoever answered me saying that it was Shannon Green, it wasn't. I had found her, and I forgot who she is again. So what she's doing is she's putting images in her book, like let me show you something, like this, and then she's going back after to decorate it not the normal way that we'll decorate a book and then put the focal image on it so it's very interesting um am i finding it hmm i i like it um but i am having like a little bit of a hard time you know being neat about it like i don't want to mess up the chair here and thing this page would probably end up just staying the way it is i love it the way it is seeing this canyon and these these chairs on it. I just like it the way it is. Somebody might not like it. I, I just, for now it's going to stay that way. But um, yeah, I'm using this book in both ways. You know, I'm decorating a page and then I'm, you know, going, I did one here. Actually, the first two here are done that way. I put the focal image on first and then I decorate it around it. Now this one here um, isn't finished yet. I still want to put a nice big lettering. Like I just wrote elegant here, but I want to, I want to do it in, in big letters. So I'm going to get out my big shot, cut the letters, paint them and everything, and then put them on here. And yeah, I'm kind of liking the way that is. This one, um, well, I'm going to tell you guys in advance, probably everybody's going to start coming home at this time from the beach. Today was a holiday, so it's, um, August the 15th and it's a holiday here so yeah everybody was out my kids were out to the, at the beach the whole day and I had my mom here my sisters so nice day getting back to this I love this um I recently watched uh the movie the golden lady watch it you guys if you haven't seen it now I don't know much about art I really don't you know I can probably pick out a Picasso or a Van Gogh or you know those things that you see often Raffaello Michelangelo those I can probably pick out some of their work but not all of them um but I recently found out about this artist who's called Gustav Klimt and um and I fell in love with the painting, the golden lady. This isn't the golden lady. This is the lady with the fan. Hi, Vito. I told you guys that I was going to have interruptions. Ne forno sono. Ora, se tu le prendi per fortunata, c'è un tipo che è un pochino bianco di sopra. Non prendere quelli che hanno un po' di pescemella. Prendi la uscitella. Okay. Okay, prendi quanto ne vuoi, eh? Ce ne sono tanti. Sorry about that, you guys. So today I made cannellonis. <laughs> My son wants some. So yeah, they've been at the beach. So obviously they probably had, you know, um, sandwiches and things like that. Food that was, you know, not hot. So now he came and he knew I was making them today. So and I made lots and lots. Like I made four big, huge um, pans full. Anyways, yeah, I fell in love with this painter and his background. Like this painting of. Oh dear, I think the Golden Lady was from the 1920s and then it was it was taken um, in the during the Second World War. There was the story behind this movie is that this lady fights for the painting that it, the painting is of her aunt, so the Golden Lady and um, her dress is gorgeous. Like I love the way this painter painted. So I kind of in in this original painting he has beautiful birds in the background which i kind of you know i couldn't find them small enough with napkins or you know 
something that was kind of similar so I decided just to go for flowers and li these little swirls and 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 things and and these images here um, I have lots of them and um, were from my kids art books in school you know because they take art and, and they have you know the books of art so and um, yeah there's so and that's how I'm learning too about other artists and things like that and but I love the technique he would use like um, check it out if you don't know L or look on the computer the golden lady and you can see the painting I'm talking about just gorgeous so yeah I did that um, in this book this one here I've been kind of you know playing around in this thing I've been playing around in my coloring book as well too this one um, I still have to work on this one here uh, I could probably call this finished and it's the lilies say behold how we preach without words of purity which is really nice too and I love lilies I love lilies you know lilies is the national flower of Italy and I didn't know that until my very first swap I, uh, I with ATC's on all things creative or all creative things I never remember all things creative I think it is the group of Kelly Donovan's this page is incomplete. This page I just did yesterday, and I'll show you where my inspiration came from. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a bag. Isn't that pretty? That's where my inspiration came from, so I, I still have to finish. This is still lots of work to do on. Then, did I do anything else in this book? This one is still the way it is. This one is still the way it is. This one here. So I have this beautiful image of this mannequin done all with these flowers and tools and things like that. And I've had it for years. Saved up. It was already cut. So I kind of made this background. But it's incomplete. I still want to finish this. Yet, you guys, you know, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll start something. And when usually I don't know how to, you know, continue or not the moment I don't want to continue it because I just don't. Um, I'll just leave it and then go back. If they're mine. I can do what I want with them, right? So, yeah. Mm, okay, you guys, I promised myself that I wasn't going to get frantic in this video because my problem is that because I don't know how to edit and I promise you I'm going to try to learn how to do it. I know I'm such a geek for these things. I can't, I can't, um, oh, this computer business, you guys, it's, you know, I still have to, you know, put a picture up for my YouTube channel. Like a lot of people will probably think that I don't even do videos because I don't have any picture there. I have nothing for, um, you know, on your general page. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so this is what I want to do today. To use up my modeling paste, which I said I still have a little bit in here that I have to use up, and that's going to be used up pretty soon. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking if I spray some water in here, just to keep it a bit humid for the rest of it that's in here, and close it up okay so this is what I did I got this nice card stock I'm not sure what kind of card stock it is because I just found it in the middle of my stuff in fact I'm thinking of the cutting this in four because I recently saw Barb Owens last video with the mandalas and um, watercoloring it and taking it up with me because we're leaving for a couple of days to up in the mountains and I'll, I'll bring I'll bring my video camera so I can show you what's up there. It's a beautiful place. We always go up there. So um, I don't know what kind of paper it is. It's going to be a surprise. I'm thinking I would like to probably cover one up with gel medium because I do want to try one with inks. Okay. So this one was a whole one, and I cut it I cut it in half. Can you see the texture? So I just got some stencils out and I started just using up all this modeling paste. Then this one here. This one here. I think this one would kind of be fun with alcohol inks. I'm not sure. But with the alcohol inks, I'm going to have to, you know, put something on it. So I might just do it right away now. Set it aside and let it dry. And then we can continue with the other stuff. This one that's damask, which is beautiful. I love it. I love this damask stencil. It's gorgeous. I think it's from Crafters Workshop. I'm not sure. It's just gorgeous. Some of them are from, um, this is from, from Deco Art. Beautiful. Love their stencils as well too. 
And you know what? You can see here more or less. This is, I think, Crafter's Workshop, and this is Crafter's Workshop. But you can see more or less, like this stencil here, that it is a thicker stencil because you have a thicker kind of, you know, um, I know you can't really see it right now, but it is, you, 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 you'll get a thicker impression when you're using modeling paste, depending on what type of stencil you're using. So that's great. So which one should I do with gel medium, you guys? I'm thinking this is just too boring. I'm not sure which one to do. Um, okay, we'll go for this one. So I'm just going to put some gel medium on this, set it aside, and let it dry. Um, where are you? Yeah, I should have gotten it ready before. Sorry, you guys. Gel medium, gel medium, where are you? Glue. No. Okay, it's right here in front of me. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get brush. Here we go and just cover it and this will you know protect it from the the ink going in I've tried this before and it works um, for the ink penetrating so you know you don't have to use a Yupo paper or which I have but um, actually I have small sheets that I think Ranger it's not the actual Yupo um, Think, thingamajigger, what would it call be? Pad. Yeah, it's not the actual Yupo pad. It's something, I think Ranger went and did their own. Always Yupo, but so they're kind of small sheets. More kind of card um, measurements. Yeah, I'm just putting it on nice and thick, you guys, because I want it to. Now, what I can do with these after is, um, I'm sorry, you guys, my glasses keep on sliding down my nose because naturally it's hot here and um, it makes me want to like sniffle all the time because of that and I've had I have this problem in the summer where you know as much as I tighten my glasses with the sweat they kind of you know start coming down my nose and I'm always trying to pull them up but coming down my nose they kind of squeeze my nose so it kind of makes me a bit um, but I want to sniffle all the time. Okay, so that's done, setting this aside. And I think by the time we finish these other ones, if we do them all, this should be dry and we'll do it with alcohol inks. So yeah, like I said, I don't want to, I always get antsy with um, with videos. Like I'm afraid there's gonna to be too long and I'm afraid that they're, you know. So I would like to try, and you know, I'm always, it's like I don't do things properly in videos because, um, well, I think everybody has this problem as well too, unless they know how to edit well and they can fast forward or, you know, like take, take out a piece. So yeah, this is the scripture one, which is beautiful. And we're going to try the magicals on one side. And I'll show you how the primary elements work as well like the magicals everybody that's using these brush show things and i have these which i think work perfectly fine maybe they're not the same thing yeah i can understand that they're not the same thing but you know oh dear yeah that was a lot so i'm going to take this off of my brush and just let me see if i can shivel this around a bit Oh boy, yeah, that was a lot, because this goes a long way too, huh? So this color was um, a teal, poppy teal, and I'm going to use this olive, which goes on a bit of yellow. So for now, I'm going to use these two colors, and like I said, I'll probably be using this for card bases, I'll pro not card bases, sorry, cards, um, EATCs. I'm kind of missing, I haven't done swaps in a long time, and I'm kind of missing it. I would like to start doing them again. See where that was so much, and I'm making a big mess here. Let me get some baby wipes. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at that, oh. Okay, let me see if I can make this. And naturally, you know, I can go over this, I can go over on it with tissue paper. Um, for now, they're just plain backgrounds. Meant to be used any way you want. Yeah, I'm going to try doing this to get the, some of it off, huh? Now I want to see the other side of this paper because like I said, I just found this paper and I'm not sure exactly what it is. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this paper could be some art paper that I had to buy for my kids. Yeah, you see it, it's just like going right in there. So I, you can add, continue adding water because some of the crystals here did not and I want to kind of add, let's go for this one here. This is um, a poinsettia red gold. Let's see what this does. You know, some of them come out like they're almost empty. Look at that. Like I've hardly ever used these, huh? So that's the way I got it. Some there. Where the white is showing more, mostly. Okay. Look at that. What a waste. Great um, things here. I'm going to hang it. I have this little hanging thing here and let it dry. It's a deep red. Let it run down. So yeah, this is kind of coming out a nice start. Oh, you know what one I wanted to do too? I wanted to try watercolors. So yeah, that's how I'm kind of experimenting on. Um, it's kind of getting muddy here. And these pages are getting stained. Okay, there we go. I'm kind of with the coloring book. I'm kind of really experimenting because I bought um, pencils. Uh, watercolor pencils and watercolor crowns as well too and I haven't really used them and now I'm using them and I'm getting a hang on it too so that's another thing that I'm definitely bringing with me is the coloring book and the watercoloring pencils and what the crowns as well too so I can experiment I can you know and I'm going to bring a pad too that I want to try um, I want to try give it a go at trying to Um, draw a bit yeah okay see the way this one came out it's really dark but I can see some like that Tim Holtz um, tissue paper that he has all designed in some pieces after it's cut I'll probably cut it first so that way I can do them differently as you know as I please so yeah that was that now Put it over here. Hands. Now I'm thinking. Okay. Save this. Oh, you guys. I have a video that where I make flowers out of these baby wipes. Um, they're little yo-yo flowers, and they're adorable. And then I make um, uh, a canvas with it as well, too. Okay, so I wanted to try these ones out now. And these are, but I'm going to try it on this one here because I already used the scripture one. So, oh yeah, that's right. I just have one side of the scripture one. Some of these are doubled. Like I'll have, I have another one of these. This is always a stencil from Crafter's Workshop as well too. And here I have, these are these are excellent. Like they work like the magicals as well too, because you can mix them up with modeling paste. You can mix them up with gel medium. You can mix them up with water. You can put them in a spray bottle and make your own sprays. And they're just beautiful. So this is a pretty, I have problems seeing pretty Pridori. I can't, I can't see that you guys. Oh my goodness. 
this is a ginger peach and this is a rose gold but I think I'm going to set the ginger peach aside and use these two here and I want to use mostly the rose gold make it a nice pink page now these aren't as fine as the magicals they're kind of more of um how could I say like they're it's not a fine fine powder like the other one okay spray bottle see and you'll notice that the look at the gold color coming out there you'll notice that the um magicals when to spray water they kind of like dissolve right away these ones take a look um take a bit to dissolve note i'm gonna get a paintbrush just to help me move it around a bit so i don't want it settling all in one spot it's kind of settling in the middle look at this yellow that came out isn't that great now on this wet spot i want to see you guys, I'm just playing around and, and, you know, if you like to keep me company, you keep me company. I want to see what this is going to look like. Just spray, putting it on. No, so I, I'm going to have to spray more water. I was thinking that it would dissolve right away, but it's obviously not. Okay. Yeah, in fact, I'm not buying the silks anymore because from now I'm going to buy these. The silks tend to dry. Mind you, you can use them for watercolors. If they dry out, you can use them like twinkling H2Os. Move this around a bit. These are going to be beautiful um, ATC backgrounds or card backgrounds, anything. I'm going to have to put the pink a bit more. Yeah. So I want to... get that pick up some color yeah this is coming out more how could you say it more um not a dark dark color i wish i had more light here no let me see something no that's not good either because some people are, are complaining that my videos are kind of dark and I'm so sorry. I have to buy new lights. That's what I have to do. I have to get something that, you know, will give me more light. Actually, I took this apart the other day because I found a whole bunch of bugs in it. And it kind of looked yellow. Well, it is still a bit yellow. I'm wondering. Just a minute, you guys. Have a bit of patience with me. If... I'll take it apart again and it gives us more light I did take it apart the other day to clean it there is that better because this kind of kind of makes it, it even though it's clean it looks clear but it kind of makes it a bit yellow as well too but I don't think it made that big of a difference let me know yeah I think I want to put more more of this beautiful pink it's gorgeous this color uh, what did I say it was called rose gold some more here I love the way this yellow kind of separated from the other color that's cool so yeah, just get a fan brush and kind of, you know, then I cleaned this with a wet, um, I cleaned it under water and um, the water turns <laughs> all different colors. Yeah, that's better. But I still would like some here. This is, they are so pigmented. Look at that. That's how pigmented these are. And I want to 
and try to let it run down. Now I'm just going to do this for today, you guys, in a video. If I continue, well, I will obviously continue on, you know, making them into what they're going to be and then decorating them. Then I'll do the video and show you guys because like this modeling paste that stayed white, you know, that could be colored. Um, I can make a paste set of these and like rub it all over or even use the deco art uh, metallic lusters, which are beautiful. So that's another one. And I love the colors of this. I don't want to continue on that anymore. Maybe the green. Yeah, because it kind of went away. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, the other day I was playing around with these. What did I do with this? With what I did? Okay, yeah, I did a background. And what did I do with that background? My memory shot, you guys. My memory is totally shot. Okay, I've got good news. I, I can't help it. I have to tell you guys, even though it's still a bit early on. But, um, isn't that pretty? <sighs> I'm going to be a grandma. <laughs> yeah. But my son that just walked in, he's the daddy. Who knows, you know, who's been following me for a while knows that my son got married and I'm leaving it at that okay see but this is not definitely watercoloring paper because look at that it is just soaked thank goodness I have a place here where to put them um, I see this gel medium one if it dried almost it's still a bit sticky still a bit sticky okay that has to be totally dried I'm just going to give it a white here with the dry. <laughs> I just finished cleaning this tile. It's all marked again. Okay. So what are we going to try next? I want to move these out of the way. Some sprays. Oh, I love this color, but I don't want to do another dark one, but this is gorgeous there's a um a color from silks that's called cinnamon brown and it's just just a beautiful color okay come on there we go yeah so what else yeah so we'll be leaving to go to the mountains it's just three days and then um yeah, we're going to be a bit busy in the next couple of days because when we get back, um, my niece that got married last year um, had a baby girl and she's baptizing her. So And she wants all the family there, all of us as well too. Because um, she says she, wants, she only comes down once a year, maybe twice sometimes. And, you know, she wants the whole family together. So this is the damask one. And um, I've been kind of wanting to, let me see if I can find them first, because I had them here, let's see if they're in here, my watercolors. I just have a cheap brand of watercolors, but it does the job. And then I have another cheap brand of these as well, too. Now, these are just, you know, kids pearlescent but they're very nice you know they do they give a beautiful color and this one here is just a cheap kind of I can't remember how much I paid for this but I did not pay it as much at all and they're very highly pigmented like they're for me for what I know they're good on the quality they're not bad stick that in there again I have my brush here that was falling out of the water the one with gel medium and um, kind of wanna there just get rid of it so that way it doesn't fall out of the okay so what are we going to do um, let's try pearlescent 
even though those ones there are pearlescent as well too. So you know what? I'm going to put those away and we're going to try these ones here. These ones here. Now for colors, that one's a dark one. That one's, oh wow, like look at the way it's coming out. Yeah. So we'll try. I'm always indecisive on colors, you guys. Let's try purple. Somebody arrived and Dori doesn't like it. That's kind of looking cool, huh? Yeah, I'm. I, I always watch like Gina Aaron's and and um, you know her watercoloring and things like that and. And every time, you know, I finish watching her or while I'm watching her, I, I got to try it. I got to try it. I have to pick up the courage and try, you know, we, we all, whoever does, you know, say, I don't know how to do that. It's so hard to you know, start something. Dottie, come here, sweetie. How about this nice turquoise? Oh, that's real. I'm uh, not turquoise. Well, yeah, kind of like a teal. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Naturally, you got to imagine these things cut up in pieces after and what kind of effect they give to. I'm just wondering if I could probably put this underneath my cutter and see if it cuts the, the modeling paste. I'm going to have to try. Mm, I'm going to put a little bit of blue right in the middle here. Make it kind of darker. Get another color going in there. On the sides here. I know you guys are probably saying what a mess she's making. <laughs> I'm just having fun. And, and you know, whoever wants my company, um, you know, here I am. I'm, I felt like talking too as well, so that's why I um, I'm doing this video. But like I said, I I am trying to you know can, not to rush it, rush in with my videos because of the fact that I'm worried that they're gonna be too long or you know yeah. Okay, you know what? I want to try to get, see if I can do it though. More purple. I know it's going to change color. It's not going to be that same as this one here, right? But like I said, once they're cut up, it's all a different story. You don't notice these type of things like I'm loving the one that the ones that Nina Rubina is doing right now they're they're gorgeous with the especially with the, the alcohol inks I love alcohol inks I love playing with alcohol inks I even like you know doing something and then doodling on them like just dropping the alcohol inks wherever they fall and doodling on them or even, you know, using the Yupo paper and putting a stencil down. Gorgeous. Oh, Peg Robinson too. Yeah, she's um she's working a lot with alcohol inks right now as well. She did a beautiful one the other day. Okay, so that's that. It's gonna stay the way it is too. You know, and imagine, you know, being cut up into pieces. How nice they'll look. Where am I gonna put you? Right there. Do I have another one? Yeah. Okay, what am I going to use this for? Sprays. I still haven't used sprays. So I have here, let me look back at the colors again. I kind of have the pinky one, the dark one, the blue, and that. You know what? I have these sprays right here in front of me, and I'm going to use these. So this is an orange, and this is, this is made 
from the primary elements. See, look at that nice shimmer that's in there. And I think this color is called Ginger Peach. So, and it makes a beautiful color. And then I'm going to use the Dilutions Yellow. And I don't know if I want to use any other color. I, I think I just want to try to get these two colors down, Pat. I'm going to put some yellow. This yellow is so bright. I love it. And now I can put and just let it kind of get into the grooves there. I might have to put some more. There we go. Should I add another color, you guys? I don't know. I'm afraid that there's going to be too many colors. Just going to add some wear. Yeah, so give me, somebody, if you can, tell me that if these are more or less like all those brush show things, you know, that I think, I think they're the same thing and they're just in different containers. Like they do the same thing, not the same thing, but they do more or less the same thing and they're just in different containers, that's all. Yeah, you can really see, I can see the shimmer on this. But like I said, mind you, it's, I don't know, I think this paper came from, you know, a, a paper pad of one of my kids and it's not watercolor paper. I have to, I have to buy some watercolor paper. There we go. I can see the shimmer or not. I don't know, because like the lighting's terrible. It's getting dark outside. Okay, last one. And what did I say I was going to do with this? Hmm. Oh, you guys missed out on the good music that was on. Oh, um, no. No, I did the sprays. I did the powders. I'm looking around to see some kind of other medium that I have. Mm, I was I was looking at the ink pads, but no, I don't want to use the ink pads. Let me see if this one's dry yet. No. Here, let me give it a, a heat up. I'm hoping that the alcohol inks won't soak into it after the gel medium. And it's actually um, heavy body gel medium. So it shouldn't. It's um, gloss super heavy gel. So hopefully it won't soak into it. So like... Um, I'm always, always, always forgetting. Some people can say, look at how rude she is. I'm always forgetting to thank all my new subbies. Everybody that is always following me and leaving me beautiful comments and encouraging me so much. Like it, it really, it really does, you know. Um, who doesn't do videos might not understand, but who does? Like it's a big encouragement too. You know, I was just watching um Ginny Blue Raven and you know she was you know saying how it's how much I inspire her and it just touched my heart that you know oh look at this it really touched my heart that you know I that she that I inspire her like that you know and and I'm so happy that I do because sometimes like right now, I'm just, you know, for the fun of it, doing these things. But like, yeah, of course, if I can inspire somebody, you know, even better. You know, if, if I could. But the, for the most part, 
I love to share my stuff. You know, it's it's um, it's just because I love to share. I love to, like I, I've only said, I'm that type of person that, you know, my sister walks in, oh, i got to show you something, what I did. And, you know, I haven't done much more, you guys, with that shabby chic ribbon yet. Um, I came to an idea with a tag, and I have it halfway through. But yeah, I gotta I, because, like I said, I'll stop when I'm not convinced for some when, when I'm not convinced, and you know, I'll just put it down, and I might not see it again for months and months and months, you know. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but um, you know, if somebody's expecting to see something that I promised to show, I'm really sorry. I don't do it on purpose, honest to goodness. So I'm going to try. These are what I have left of my glazes. I used to have another couple of colors, not too many, maybe another three. And I tried doing sprays out of them, and they came out really pretty too as well. Huh? So I have this Glamour Glaze from um, Tattered Angels, but I'm not seeing where the color is, you guys. I have to. And look at this. Like, they got to be really shaken up good. Now I'm thinking, I just want to try a little piece. I want to see what happens if I spray water on this, because naturally to fill up a page like this, I'll be here forever with this little tiny brush, unless I get a bigger brush. Yeah, think, think Josie, think, <laughs> get a bigger brush. <laughs> That's a girl, there we go. Excuse me, you guys. Rosario! Rosario! No, he doesn't hear me. I hear him, but he doesn't hear me. Sorry, you guys. They're a bit rowdy sometimes, my kids. Joey? Oh, wow. Hi, Joey. You say, I told you, they're all coming in all at once now from the beach. So, yeah, I'm doing this kind of like the other ones. Let me try this color now. This is really, really shimmery, you guys. Really shimmery. Th these are beautiful, but I don't know. I've had them for so long and not really used them that much. Oh, you know where I use these? Now, I used to make beads out of plastic bags. And um, and I would I would paint over them with these, and they came out. They're beautiful. Look at that. Huh? They, they're, like, they're almost exactly the same color. Look at that. They don't look like it in the, um, in the picture. But there's a big glob here. Let me see if I could take this out. Look at that. It kind of settled on the side here. And that's the mica. See that? You say divertido, Joey? No, it's normal. See? Ci sono i gandelloni in forno. C'è Anita? Okay. So yeah, everybody knows about the cannelloni, so everybody's coming over to eat. Yeah, look at that. So I want to get my hi, hi Rosario. Hey man. Say hello to everybody. Hi everybody. Okay. My big gun here. See, <laughs> this is the only thing I can see. So this says the color. Let me see if I can see. Brush included. Do not freeze. Okay, who's going to freeze Glamour Glaze? Is somebody going to freeze it? Okay, this color is called Oopi, H-O-P-I. And this color is called Oopi. Oh, okay, so I have two of the same color. I didn't know that. Because they do look different. One looks darker than the other. Look at that. Okay, so I use the blue. Rosario, chiudi la porta, mamma, per favore. Rosario. Joey, thank you. Now we'll use the blue, because these are the only color, colors I have left. Let me wash this. Get rid of my magnifying glass. I can't do anything without that magnifying glass, you guys. Like, I wear glasses and everything, but my glasses don't give me the eyesight, a perfect eyesight, because I I, I don't, I've lost too much eyesight. Especially in menopause. I went into an early menopause. Sorry, guys, if any men are listening <laughs> what you're talking about. I went into a very early menopause and um, my pregnancies did not affect my eyesight but my but menopause did. So um, these glasses only give me 
to a certain amount of eyesight and that's it. They, they, they can't do anything about it anymore. So hopefully, it has stopped. It got worse, but it stopped and it's, you know, but I, with little fine reading, I have to get the magnet. Maybe lots of people have to get a magnifying glass and I'm not the only one, but yeah. I even bought those type of magnifying glasses that you put around your neck. Like it's a big magnifying glass. And um, yeah, kind of looks like abstract. You know? But like I said, these I'll show them to you once I cut them all up. And they're probably going to go towards all ATCs, maybe some kind of strips that are left over. I can make, you know, little cards out of them or little inchies. And these really. I'm sorry you guys can't see how much they're glimmery, but they are. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside now. So we tried the sprays. We tried the watercolors. We tried, what else did we try? We tried the magicals and we tried the um, primary elements. Put this aside here. There we go. I like these two colors together. Actually, they're not bad. But the camera only skit it's it's um different. It's different in the camera, you guys. I love this. Love these two colors together. And I'm not minding this one either. It's my probably my less favorite. This one's drying beautiful because then you have to wait to see what they look like when they're dry. And there is so much glimmer on these. Oh my goodness, the glimmer that's on there. And like you can see the gold, if you know, turning it, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that. There's the gold as well too. And oh, this one here, which is very um, faint in color, but there is so much shimmer in there. I better remember what was what. Okay. Now this one here. And just, uh, it's kind of a, a bit tiny sticky. <sighs> now I don't know how this is going to turn out, you guys. Hopefully good. And if it's not good, it goes in the bin. That's all. But I think I did try this once before. In, in one of my art journals, I did it with gel medium and then I put the, um, the alcohol ink over always a bit wait till it cools off maybe because it's hot okay I'm gonna get my alcohol inks and I'm wondering if I should just oh yeah I could do them with the dabber actually Sorry guys, trying to find, I have a hundred lights for this room and a hundred switches for this room and I don't ever get it right. Don't ever get it right. I'm hoping that in my next room that, oh my goodness, this is driving me crazy. There we go. In my next room that, um, because I'm moving rooms now. I'm not sure yet which room in the house, but um, uh, yeah, I have to move rooms because um, we want to start working on this house here for my son. So if I don't get out of here, we can never do it. That's under there. More? Oh, wow. Okay, I'll show you all the alcohol inks I have. This is what I, how crazy I am for them. And I even saw that... Um, the store in Rome where I buy from, she brought more colors. 
but and I was ready to order them and I thought you know what no I have enough colors and that's all okay see so I have these I have these these are from the Italian company and I have these so yeah I think I have enough right you guys I don't need every color in the book okay so here's the dabber and I did have some pads cut here let me see if I can find them they're in one of my little boxes here in here no okay I'm just gonna have to cut one up here oh sorry lost it if you guys are sitting down for a long period of time do your feet swell like mine get swollen when I'm sitting down for if I'm up on my feet and just you know it in the summer you guys not in the winter it happens for, to me in the summer but yeah I get like my feet swell up so much it's incredible that's why I hate weddings and things like that in the summer because um, you're sitting down for the most part, you know, and um, your feet really start swelling up. So, colors. What color should I use? This is a problem, too, picking out colors. Goodness gracious. Like, they're all so beautiful, too. There's a cloud blue and this mountain rose that looks really pretty. Some of these I haven't used because I just ordered them, not recently, but... Since I've ordered them, I haven't used them, so. Now I see lots of people taking the tops off and then, like what I've done is um, mix the tops up on my alcohol inks. I think I did see this, the solution here, here it is. This is the solution for the Italian brand, but it's more or less the same thing, right? I don't think I have the solution with for Ranger. You know what? I'm going to do one half of the page, one color, and the other half another color. So yeah, I need more, definitely. And some blue. So these two colors, like I said, cloud blue and mountain rose. If anybody's interested in knowing what colors they are. And turn and twist your, so you don't get the same pattern all the time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but of what I'm seeing here, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty, yeah. Um, maybe once I go over it with, um, this is how sticky it is, like it's sticking to my hand. Um, like you could see the design of the modeling paste better with the other colors than you could see with this. Right? But like I said, I'm, ne I'm not finished with these yet. So, you know, they can come out completely different. But I like the combination of these two colors. That's pretty. I want to put more. Well, yeah. I was going to say more pink, but maybe it needs even blue. Okay, now I'm going to try this side here with two other colors, and let's get rid of that, put the tops on, I'm trying to stay calm you guys, I'm trying not to rush into this, okay, distress sink, no, we don't want distress sink, and I don't want a dark color, I want a bright color. Mm, but this is pretty. Um, it's a hazelnut. Let's see that with orange. Nut. Nope. Um, Willow's really, really pretty too. It's kind of like a straw color. I like that. I've ordered even twice Willow. It's so pretty. Uh, butterscotch is pretty too. 
butterscotch. This is willow. Um, shell pink is very pretty as well too, but I think we're going too close to these colors here. Oh, okay, we'll do a green. This is lettuce. Okay, we'll do lettuce and butterscotch. So I'll get another piece of my... Um, what do you call this, you guys? The pads? Which I just use... Um, uh, what's it called again? Hmm. I can't remember the name. Not flannel. It's not flannel. Or is it? No, it's not flannel. But felt. That's what it is. Felt. You know, I might put in butterscotch and hazelnut. Blending solution. And back there. Pretty. Yeah, I'm really liking that. You guys make sure that your forgot the name again is of a good quality because mine isn't a good quality and it leaves these hairs right away maybe it's a bit more because of the but it was doing it on the other sheet as well too the other day where it was um a flat sheet but i'm wondering if it's doing it even more see the way it leaves all the fluffs if it's doing it even more because of the modeling paste on here aren't they pretty okay we need more though more green hazelnut and no that was hazelnut this was butterscotch okay so obviously you could see where I'm just going to cut it right down the middle and this will probably be the B B B B B B A T C S. Pretty. Very pretty. Should I try dropping? Let me see what happens. I'll do it over here in this corner. Well. No, it's not really. Let me get a piece that I had. Just blend it in a bit. There. I wanted to look on the other side here. Look at that. See? It always went through a bit, huh? Even with the, the gel medium. So, there you go, you guys. You could see. Or it maybe was... No, because here it's like a bit wet, too. Maybe I should have covered it better, given it a second cover. And then another thing about this is that, and I noticed it when I did it in my my journal back then, is that um, you could see the streaks, which kind of bothered me as well too. Yeah. So I'm going to close these up, and I'm going to show them all to you now. Please make sure they're closed up nice and tight, you guys. We don't want them running all over the place. They make a huge mess. It happened to me once. Okay. And I do want to find, I don't know, I'm just not happy with them being like this on their side. Especially with our heat here in Sicily. There's little bugs here that are really bugging me. They're not mosquitoes, but they're really bugging me. They're always flying in my face. Okay, let me put this to the side here, and we'll go through what we did. So this was the first one. This one's really wet. Look at that. Well, I sprayed this a lot with water, too. 
So this is where I would love to know how I could pause my video, wait till they dry, and come back to you guys when they're all cut. This is another one. So this was done with magicals. Okay? Let me put that aside. Magicals. We'll go in order. This was done with the Mm, what do they call primary elements and the color is not coming out good in the camera you guys it's not it's it's much more prettier here then these were done with the sprays I had a homemade spray done with the primary elements and a delusions yellow spray which came out very very pretty and there's so much glimmer on this like it's beautiful shimmer shimmer what else do we have? This one here that was done with Glamour Glaze. And it is so shiny. It's really shiny. I can't wait to cut this one up. This one is going to be very interesting. Even if it doesn't look like it. And this one was done with what? The watercolors. Okay, that was done with the watercolors. My cheapo watercolors. But they're perfect for now because I'm still learning. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to bring those. And I have... Actually, you know what? I, I do have watercolor paper. It's a nice heavy watercolor paper as well, too. And this one for last, the alcohol inks. Done on, you ought to put a gel medium or use Upo paper. But um, I don't know if you can put modeling paste over Upo paper. I have no idea. I have no idea. But this works just fine as well, too. So, yeah, in my next video, I'll be showing you guys what I did. Because like I said, I do want to um, I do want to join some ATC swaps and you know get out there again. Um, it's been a while. Like I I've done a couple of happy mails in the last um, month or so, but um, and and it took me so long to get them out. Them and Annie, I didn't forget about you, honey. Actually, I found them the other day because I had lost them and I didn't tell you anything. So there. <laughs> we, we were doing a collaboration on not a collaboration but we were doing the um, uh, Shannon Green's um, uh, JB5s and um, on index cards and, and I have them both I have mine that I have to send her for the first time and I have hers that she did them and she sent them to me and I did the second part so and I got to send them to her it was like, I was looking at the video and it was like last year <laughs> And so, yeah, she knew, well, we we were um, talking about it a time ago, and she was saying, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. But in the meantime, then I had lost them because I did a whole bunch of cleaning in this room, and, and there was somebody that was helping me, so they got misplaced because she didn't know where where to put them. And I, I found them after because I did more cleaning after and, and found them. This is really soaked, you guys, but it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. And that's another thing that I do too. And I'm so sorry. I'll mention things a hundred times in the video. The same thing. I'll repeat myself and repeat myself and repeat myself. And I notice it only because I have to, because I'll probably be watching one of my videos again and notice how many times I repeat myself. And I'll forget what I was saying, you know, like, uh, and, 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 and I'll notice that in a video that I'm starting to tell you guys something and then, ba boom, my thought is gone. So, yeah. Um, I've been writing down um, quotes that I've been finding. So, nice quotes as well, too. So, yeah, that's what I've been doing, you guys. Not, not really much, like I said, in arting. I've been more concentrating on my journaling, as, as you could see, you know, the pages that I've been doing. I've been having fun, that's all. No reason, no rhyme, like, just just playing that's all I've been doing right now just playing and um, then I'm really excited I'm gonna be a grandma I'm gonna be a grandma she'll probably be born she or he whatever it is um, May or April May I think the end of April early May so yeah and I'm really excited because now I'm gonna start thinking of you know um, blankets to do and you know quilting blankets and I already thought of one I want to start right away which will be all 
ivory fabrics on ivory fabrics, like different types of ivory fabrics put together. I don't know what kind of design I want to do, if I want to do around the world or if I want to do the log cabin, but I do want to pick one out. I'm thinking of just doing three strips this way and three strips that way. In that way, I can put some little lace on some on once in a while on a little strip of fabric. And that, that would look really pretty. Make it a little bit elegant too. Um, you know, make it a patchwork, but a patchwork with lace. What, what do you guys think? That would be nice. And then using the same lace in the sheets because I want to make the sheets as well too. Now we're talking about the small little crib. We're not talking about the normal crib size. Um, because the baby will be in there for about at least three, four months. So I'm going to want to make a couple of those and then I'll make a couple of the ones for the crib. Yeah, that, that's going to be fun. And I have so much saved for, I've always said, when I become a grandmother, this is, I want to use this for that. And I, I have some laces that I have saved that were given to me 30 years ago. And the lady that gave them to me, not that my sister gave them to me. And the, the girl that gave them to my sister, they were her mother-in-law. So these, these two laces are about 50 years old and they're just beautiful. And I have been saving them just for, you know, my own use, which is really nice. And now I can finally use them. So yeah, um, we're really happy about that. And, you know, it's going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. And they say it's, it's, um, it's an emotion that, only when you become a mother that you finally realize what it really is about. You know, you love them more. They say you love them more than your own kids. <laughs> True? I don't know. But <laughs> anyways, you guys, I'm going to all let you go. And I hope that you enjoyed the video. And I liked it. like I said, again, thank you so much to all my new subscribers, especially to my old subscribers that, you know, that always follow me and they're always there and they're always commenting and beautiful comments and you know it's a big encouragement for me and um, I've never said to you guys you know give me a thumbs up but I am going to start doing it because apparently it does help your channel grow you know so if you can please if you want to give me a thumbs up um I would really appreciate that and naturally a comment as well too uh oh another thing I'm coming up to a thousand subscribers and I think I will be doing I, I think I know I will be doing um a giveaway so that will be coming soon I still have a, a little ways to go but it's getting there and and you know I'm really happy I'm really um yeah I'm really happy about that it's 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 really nice you know to know that so many people um you know you, you're not going to get, you know, all those people that are watching you, but so many people were un interested enough to subscribe to your channel. So everybody have a great week and, um, and God bless. Goodbye.